Welcome to the halls of murder. Well, this painting. Welcome, Reaper Mini fans. Today we're doing one of my favourite miniatures. This is the Fire Giant Jailer. Um, this was sculpted by Chris Lewis, absolutely amazing guy. Um, this is going to be a step-by-step -step painting guide where we do the flesh tones and then move on to the metal. Uh, a very simple paint, uh, but very, very effective. And this miniature always looks fantastic whenever I paint it. It's just the way the miniature is. It's a fantastic sculpt, one of my top 10 Reaper miniatures. Now, this miniature comes with one of these bases, but uh, today I am going to be taking it off that base and I'm going to be replacing it with a 75mm base boss base. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all prepped up, I'm going to get my minis stuck onto the bases and then we're going to go through each of the painting stages. Um, what I'll do is when, once I've added the primer coats, which will be the flesh tones, um, I will then show you what, how I highlight the flesh tones and certain areas of the miniature. What I'm going to do today is I am going to do one or two with the scholar flesh or with the dark highlights as a primer coat for the flesh. Um, I think it would be nice to have a variation so we'll have the two different colours. Um, as for the base, I've been thinking about it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little dungeon floor on these bases and I'll show you how I do that um, a little bit later after we've painted the miniatures. So what we'll do is get, we'll get the miniatures painted first, we'll get the base all made up and then stick the mini to the base. So we'll do that last. So what I'll do, I'll get these all primed and we'll come back and make a start. Okay, so I've got my few primers. I decided to add another colour as well. So we've got the black as well. Um, now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my highlighting on the skins. Now this is very simple. With the brown, we always go for a lighter for that tone. So I got some Griffin Tan by MSP. And I'm just going to dry brush that onto the miniature. With the uh, skin there, we're going to be putting on some Army Paint uh, Flesh Wash. And with the black, we are going to be adding a tiny touch of white to the black and mixing that in just to give it a very, very lighter shade. We don't want it gray, but we want it a very, very dark, just so it highlights the tops of the muscles. So I'm gonna just quickly show you one, um, and we'll go with the tan. So I've got my dry brush, I'm taking off the paint, and we're going directly over all of the miniature on all the muscles. And it's a very simple and effective way to highlight your muscles on your miniatures. Let me just go over all the mini and focus. And we do the same with the other miniatures with a lighter colour. Now once this is dried we'll be going over the whole of this flesh tone with that army painter flesh wash and that will be perfect and then later on once it's all dried we'll go over it again with this griffin tan just to pick out the highest areas and there we are so as simple as that for now I'm going to quickly uh, show you the black skin because that is quite tricky now what I've got here on my palette is I've got some dragon black and some dragon white. Now all I'm going to do is take the black and I'm going to put it onto my tissue and then go into the white a little bit and start mixing that in so I got a very very dark grey, I mean the darkest grey possible. There we go, beautiful. Now we're going to take that paint off and we're going to go over our muscles. And as you can see, it's highlighting those muscles on the miniature. It's very simple to do, and it works very, very well. There you are. 
with this one what we'll be doing is we shall probably go over this with a black ink wash that will go into all the recesses and that will highlight those muscles a little bit more too so we can go a little bit lighter so i'm going to just add a tiny bit more white just to pick out the highest areas on the muscles there we go Very simple. There we are. Fantastic. Yeah, awesome. So all I need to do is add that ink wash to this one, and then I'll come back and we'll make a start on the armor. Well, my minis are dry, and I'll make a start on the bases. What I've got here is a rolling pin from Green Stuff World. I brought this from Mighty Lancer Games in the UK. There's links below the video. Um, and what it is, is a rolling pin that's got um, cobblestones printed and you just use it as a rolling pin over clay or femo clay and it will leave that imprint on your miniature for your bases. Now, this is the femo air. Um, this is air drying or you can put it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. So we're going to use this today with the rolling pin to make our bases for our jailer. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the Fimo clay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this around the base. Just so it covers the whole base. I'm going to keep it about maybe four or five millimeters thick so we get a nice imprint with that rolling pin. And just cover the whole base like so. When this dries it will probably peel off and then we can stick it back on so it's not a not an issue. Right, so we've got our rolling pin and we just go across the top of our Fino. Going back exactly the way we came. And back again. And we have a beautiful imprint on our Fino clay. There you go. All we need to do now is we get a crafting knife. And just like you got a pie, you cut off around the edges of the base. There we are. Perfect. Now that will harden overnight and I will get that all painted up and it will be ready to go for our miniatures. Once they've finished they'll be able to be stuck on there very very easily. So there we are, that's how simple it is to use these rolling pins and make fantastic little bases for your minis. Okay, so I've blocked in all the colours now. I used some clotted red by MSP, some dwarven bronze and some silver. Um, and what I'm going to do now is all the silver areas I'll cover in a black ink wash. As you can see, the bases are coming on nicely as well. I will give them a dry brush with a light bone colour. Um, I'll probably use the bleached bone or I will use a skeleton bone just as a light dry brush on the top of these uh, bases and they will look fantastic. So what I'll do now is I'll add that black ink wash to all the silver areas and then I'll come back once they've dried. Okay so all my ink wash is dried and they are looking fantastic. Now all I need to do is highlight some of the hair on some of the um, giants there. Um, I'm going to add some brown ink wash in different places around the silver areas here. And then to highlight the miniatures and highlight all the metal areas, I'll just go over the edging of here with a very fine brush with the silver that I used before. And that'll bring out all the edges on the metal areas and give them a fantastic effect. So I'll come back and show you the finished miniature. 
So here are the three finished fire giants. These are absolutely fantastic miniatures. Now, as you can see, the base has turned out fantastic. And I've added some skulls, some human sized skulls to the base to give some sense of scale to how big these giants are. Now these giants would look fantastic in any tabletop game and a very nice and quite simple paint. So I hope to hope you all try this at home. Um, and there we are. So that's the fire giant jailer. If you enjoy what I'm doing, then uh, please uh, hit that sub button. If you want to support the channel, then please become my patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So, until next time. Clean your paintbrushes, prime your models, and join murder.